What, what went through your mind and, and what were the first things you did when you heard you would be facing Manny Pacquiao? First of all, I want to send well wishes to Errol Spence. Uh, wish him all the best on a speedy recovery. Look, this has been a long road for me. Uh, obviously, it's a short notice fight, but I'm thankful and very honored uh, for this opportunity, and I'm ready. In terms of the pr preparation, Manny, I know you were training for a southpaw. Uh, that was a big part of the storyline coming into this. Uh, you know, now you draw an orthodox fighter. What adjustments did you have to make? Uh, and I know you've said it's easier than fighting a, a, a left-hander, but what adjustments did you make instantly when you heard that you were facing your Dennis Ugas? When I heard the fight um, against uh, Ugas, um, I just... Um, Two days, uh, easily adjust because I've been fighting a right-handed guy, so it's not hard for me to adjust unless uh, going way around. So, like when you're fighting a um, right-handed in switching to southpaw, uh, that's gonna be hard because you're not used to it to fight a southpaw. So this time around, it's good for me because um, I used to fight a uh, right-handed most of my of my uh, of my career. So. Nothing to worry about. Why do you think, and you told me, you, you think Manny Pacquiao will knock out your Dennis Ugas. Why are you so confident? Uh, well, we had a real good training camp. He's trained really hard for this fight. And he's, he's punched more good in, in sparring sessions. And uh, I think putting one sparring partner on the canvas was a motivator for all of us. And uh, we... we all right. Well, welcome back as that was some of the press conference from Wednesday, Felix, between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. What did you take away from what you heard?